and this video is made from my 10 years of traveling across China but for this I really want to emphasize that you should look at China and understand China deeply this is the time when there is a lot of misunderstanding between US and China why because I think one of the root reason is the American don't really understand China and of course I do this uh, video right I have selected five top universities for you to to review and my method is differs from others I focus on giving you a panorama of the key points of my visit now in very important and you must remember, my China is a very old civilization, 5,000 years. The U.S. is nothing compared to China in our history. And therefore, when you go to China, right, when you go to university, like I do, you must always try and rope in a visit to its provincial museum, the museum that holds the exhibits of that region. And then from there, when you travel around China and you understand its history, you begin to get a deeper understanding of China. Right? I'm the founding editor of Chinese Management Studies, a journal that has been rated right, by SCI Imago way back in 2013 as equivalent to Harvard Business Review. But I think most importantly right, is for me is to convey this message that for you to understand China, you have to really go there and visit there. Confucius said, right, besides studying books and you know statistics and and, 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 and all that, you have to travel. You got to be there. And I hope this through this the short one hour montage of my travel that you could then get a grasp of First of all, Sun Tzu in China, right? I gave lectures in China on Sun Tzu, as well as also on research and management. But more importantly, you get a sense, a feel of what China really is. Thank you so much.
how you seen this first uh, university? What do you notice? One thing I find that can explain the rise of China, the rapid rise of China, the enthusiasm of the Chinese for learning. You can see that the hall where I lecture on Sun Tzu is full of EMBA alumni members. They were very keen and eager to learn. This is, I find, a very interesting point about China.
There are three things that impress me most of Northwestern Polytechnic University and ex that explain why China rose to that can overtake US. One is th the kind of research group they have in China is very well integrated, they work cohesively and it is very well led by experts in the area, in this case Professor Ko Guo. Then you have number two, approaching Sun Tzu. Right, the Chinese are interested in fundamental questions related to Sun Tzu out of war. Then the third is the Chinese love of their history. Now the university is cited in Xi'an, a very famous city well known for its artifacts. And I was very impressed and I had a time understanding Chinese culture through visiting the artifact in the museum.
Sichuan University. Now, this university, the major impression I get was the students were also keen to publish their research in English journals and or to write in English. Number two, I'm very impressed with the hospitality as you can see and of course you will find that the Chinese love nature. I went to Chiu Chai Po and you find the nature reserve and I was amazed with the care, the cleanliness, the, you know, the liveliness of the fishes and of the darts that, that are found on the nature reserve and finally the arts, the theatre. You should go to, to Sichuan and explore and examine and experience first. So don't listen. Know China from inside, not from outside. And share your experience too. Beijing Chiao Tong University, there you find when I was there, the students themselves had requested that I do a, a talk in the evening on Sun Tzu Out of Four and there they asked very penetrating questions. But besides Sun Tzu, I was there to lecture on AI and also on finance, but then I was there also to get them interested in doing research on football and link football to finance and strategy. And therefore you will find after this that I will give you a recording of what I did on creating a research group to research on football industry. Professor Fu Chek Tech visiting Beijing Jiao Tong University. He works with Professor Li Yuan Hui on research. Research is at School of Economics and Management. One of his goals in the university is to set up a research group.
Here you see members of the team with Professor Li Yuanhui with Professor Fu Chek Tech. Being the first time that we all meet, each present their interests. The focus is on football as an emerging industry. The blackboard reflects some of the discussion. China-like turtle may be slow to begin in football but will overtake the wolf. A wide range of topics related to football are explored for research. Financial trends in football clubs is one such topic. The other is building up databases. Research group works in team. Each is encouraged to foster new thinking. The atmosphere is a relaxing one. Everyone including professors are with their notebooks. Professor Lee explaining a research issue. Another blackboard discussion, taxonomy of football clubs. A researcher emphasizing key variables from her work. A listing of target journals given researchers' interests. Football originated from China. Even Mao Zedong played football as goalkeeper. Research group will explore how financial concepts may be adapted for global football industry. This biting known as, where ideas originate is where research group meet. Two zero one two was the year I was appointed as a research professor of Harping Institute of Technology. You can see that I gave the book, uh, soon the book, to the dean, a professor for you.
Public Institute of Technology, right up north. Very few universities in the world have a museum of astronautics. And this university, you can see the skill of the university. This is huge, mega university. Yet the quality of students is top. And I know from my interactions with the students that they are a top rate in terms of completing assignments. And there's a lot of interest there here too on doing research on Sun Tzu's strategy. The reason thinking why I make this video is really to communicate to Americans. I was in New York and I was on top of the Twin Towers. And I was surprised and stunned that, you know, what happened in 2011. But then I find that, you know, what, what happened recently is, has alarmed me to the point where I thought maybe really, really the Americans really don't know about China at all. That you are reading books and you are, you are looking at news and all that, that doesn't really convey the true picture of China. Therefore, my, my suggestion to you is, you know, like good Americans, you must always get the facts right. And I think you should therefore go inside China and, and see China from inside out. I have done just, just five top universities. I will do another, another video sometime later on another five universities. And see yourself, you're having in China young growing Chinese who are very keen to contribute to the world. And what is the world without people? The world is about humanity. And you're going out to space, and the space has a lot of space for many, many, many more people. And I hope that to able to encourage Americans and, and China to work, to collaborate together, to work together. Thank you for your time to watch the video. Thank you so much.